Welcome back, fellas, to some more speed. Scrubby Dota, your games at 1.5 speed. Getting them done quick. Making the reaction times look snappy. And also making the farming time go down a fair bit, so we're not just sat aft watching people click creeps. We get a little bit more action, a little more bang for the buck. A little more scrap for the... S Scruck? Uh, here we go. Little bit of action down here. The two will drop. The Wyvern gozzing up. Might just about be enough to get down the breaker. There we go. And now Jug as well. Are you sticking around? No. Okay. I mean, that's what happens when you get the boots first on Jug and what. You can just run away. <laughs> You can just run away and the Wyvern, oh my god, just causing up a storm down here. I'm seeming strong at the moment. Wyvern 3 becoming a thing, apparently. Uh, the old the old slow, the Arctic Burn, got wrecked by a, a Wyvern and a Tusk combo recently in my game. Apparently does devastation with the tag team on top. And I am not surprised in the slightest. Um, oh, shit. Well, undying. Dead. They get their turn. I mean, that's the boots first, baby. You can run anyone down <laughs> with this spin. You can run anyone down. Oh, uh, who we got mid? Tony versus SF. I mean, this should be an easy SF win, right? How do you... <laughs> it should be an easy SF win, he says. Well, SF's getting a little bit owned. A little bit. I mean, he should be able to just range out this lane. Um, but Tony may be actually winning it. Maybe, maybe Tiny can be the champ. I kind of want to see. Wow. Yep. Yeah, okay. The SF is a greasy little guy. Gets, gets actually got. Gets actually got. And here we go. Running down. Trying to spin to get away and might be able to on one of them. But uh, this is why the Spirit Breaker needs. Uh, the Spirit Breaker has boots. Okay. No. Good. You can tell the bracket we're in. No stats, only boots. How about the mid, mid lane? No, nope, just bottles. That's fine. Okay, no boots. Any boots up here? Boot check. Spirit Breaker coming on the gank. We have a little bit of scuttle. We've got a Fisher. Block zoning out the windy. Uh, should be able to get one down. And Breaker up here now, but we haven't really got any uh, lockdown. Help them up and maybe Fisher up in another second. Oh, wallet. Nice rotations. From the chaps. And then the Posse Fire Breaker back down here to support the, the boots first. <laughs> Juggernaut. It's fine. You know, it's fine. You don't need stats. You know, I'm scared that this Wyvern's going to pog off. I just know this Wyvern's going to pog off this game. You don't you don't pick Wyvern unless you know what you're doing on the hero on the offlane, right? Charge coming in. Tiny rotation. Got a stun. The tune drops. Tossed up. I mean, they can't even burst him down. Well, I've been throwing out the damage. <laughs> Three kills for Dyer on the Radiant Rotation. Oof. Oof, chaps. Couldn't burst the Undying at all. <laughs> and then the Tomb plus the Wyvern. Oh, my God. That is unfortunate. And now we've got a gank coming on top. Breaker bunts. Nope. Get shackled, but we got a nice little fisher. Zoning out the oracle. Easy. Easy. Just keep going up here, lads. This is where the kills are going to happen. Uh, don't bother the wyvern. Don't poke the dragon down here. You don't want to do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. They're going to get you. Oh, snakes. Come on, lad. Oh, so close. So close. So close. He's got stun again. He's got stun again. Is it going to happen? Whoa! SF. Come on, lad. He's um, not the best. Not the best player. Maybe the Tiny is the best player, and that's why he's pogging off. Mm, yes. Oh, that's a nice shackle. On the 200, is someone will either stop and go more route coming out. A little bit of a catch, but uh, I think Weaver is the one in the, in the powerhouse right here. We got a rotation coming up from Snicks. They're gonna go. Stun. Oh, the root. 
Couple more. There we go. The tree toss secures, but they do have to trade a Weaver for it. So not the best. The pause. The posy five for the three. All the while they get the spin down. They get the undying, but Wyvern looking for something. Not quite gonna have enough damage to kill the old Jug and now Skullman down here. On the rotation. Not gonna be able to get anything. The Wyvern's backed all the way out. Unless. Unless he comes out now. Oh. Shake and die top. There we go. Undying. He's come out. Come out to D Ward. This should be free kill. I mean, the tomb is up the hill. The curse goes out. A little bit of a heal stalling. No way. Okay, they do just about get undying, but it's two return kills. The curse just racking up the zombies, and Windy's here on rotation as well. <laughs> gets the shackle, gets the kill with the focus fire. And Snix isn't able even to clean up the Wyvern. Oh, Lord. It's a runaway game, it feels. It's a runaway game. Although the SF is uh, questionable, right? So maybe, or the inventory room rotation, this could be his saving grace. Can he get the full crank up? No, Oracle baiting. Woo, throws the ulti. Triple raise on a melee hero. Don't know why he couldn't do that on the mid lane. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Let's, let's just chilling down here. What's everyone doing? This the bot lane is the place to be apparently. You're on Dyer? Come to the bot lane. We've got action. We've got wife and we've got tombstones. We've got a jug spinning away. Is the boots going to be enough? Doesn't get the healing ward up in time to heal him. Just dies. Just dies. And now mid lane. Easy combo on the Oracle. Wallop down, but Windy. Guess the Weaver, but she pays for it. She pays for it. The Tony boy. Hogging off, lads. This is a great old tiny mid. He's doing great. I'm all aboard Team Snix. Team Snix. Carry us. Oh, Wyvern Curse, but the spin through. Jug's still in the chase. Not going to commit the chop all the while mid. There we go. Oh, tossing up his illusion. Can't complete. On the SF and die for now. Why well, might be in trouble? The curse is on cooldown. We've got a little bit of bunts. So oh, the shot comes out. The heal. Stolen out. The tomb dropping. It's flying away on the Wyvern. But we have a Fisher as well. Going for the dive. Not enough. It's not enough. And the SF's here. Cleans up one. Over the slam. Coming in. Oh, juicy. Juicy. God damn, I cannot believe the Wyvern survived. Well, I can't believe it. I can't, I can't fully believe it. <laughs> I'm not surprised in the slightest, actually. I'm not surprised in the slightest. Is that... Oh, not... Phase Shaker? Phase Boot Shaker? This is something new. I've not seen this one before. Oh. A little bit of a dive coming in from the Ranger. It does get one. Oracle ult. Healing her for a little bit. Stalling out, but... Uh, yeah, she got a pop. Can't quite bring the Weaver down with him. And Skullbuck. Oh my god. He was so close to dying there. If Oracle was able to get the little pure... Oh, it's only level one. No, only level one. Wouldn't have done the damage. Wouldn't have done the damage. Ooh, speaking of damage, Tiny has double. But he's got amplified damage. Double damage in my heart. There's a double damage. Here we go. Shaker boy. They get one down. And they get the second down. Lose the tower, but there we go. There's the blink. Although Wyvern here now has the curse. Okay, Wyvern feeling strong. Wyvern feeling strong, but Wyvern also a little bit far out. We've got the rotation coming in. Oracle channeling a little bit too long. Gets punished. But I guess make space for the Wyvern to back out. Although, everyone's kind of sticking around. The Tombstone Man is back down here. I reckon they're going to want to fight. I reckon there's going to be a big old scrap down here. AD popping on the tiny. But he's just going to go back to the mid lane. Looking for a windy, I guess. Here he comes. Scoo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo-doo. Nope. 
Can't get close enough in time. Uh, okay, okay. Look at this damage. I mean, it's the Witchblade. There's a Blanc Slam. Is it enough to burst? Have we got enough magic damage to bring down Wyvern? We do just about, but they're all stanking up. There we go. SF cranking it up. Returns a kill on Juggernaut. And Oracle gets the saves on Undying as well. No problemo. A one-for-one one trade. Although a lot committed from Dyer. They might be able to go now. And Snix is thinking, I'm going to go. But the shield rune on this Windranger and she has a run. Could be baited in. Fisher block. Maybe help them up in. Oh, there we go. Breaker coming in. Clutching up. Bunsen up. We're just going to get focus fire a little bit. We've got Toss up. Yule's spalling out. And that focus. The, what, what? The shackle. Criminal landing. They do get the undying. And now going on top of the SF. Couple of clips from Snix. The Echo Saber brings him down quite quickly. And Borsh. That's a lot of damage. Wendy, is she going to be able to get out here? Is she going to TP in time? Yeah. She's fine. She fine. She good. She golden. Oh, Jesus. Wyvern, come on. Calm down. Calm down, Wyvern. Maybe I should give uh, the old Wyvern 3 a try. It, it seems... It seems good. It seems good. Blink, tiny. I mean, look at the heal. Just one level in it. Stalls out so much time. Heals a fair chunk. I mean, it's the curse committed to get out. And then just for a he's gone back in for more. Wow. I mean, the greed there. The greed showing on the Wyvern. Absolute greed. Yeah, a little bit of deep wardage. Good. Okay, yeah. And they managed to punish. A little undying. Going for a D-Ward mission. And now is this a little push down here? Is Radiant on the push town? Is, is, is they come? Oh, they come. Curse is nearly available again. Could be danger. Could be danger. Jeffrey's a squishy lad like the Weaver. He gets caught out with all the team. Could be trouble times. So all Tiny going in the back line, brought them down the Oracle. But there's the slam going in. But the curse comes out, stalls out, allows them to retreat a little bit. And there we go. Wallop down one. Gets a second. Yeah, don't, don't stack for the Wyvern, eh? Don't stack for the Wyvern. Chatting it up down here. Pause three Wyvern. Although... Is this a little too deep? Wyvern's backing out. Tiny combo. Is it enough to bring down one? Nope. She's get the win run. But the charge is coming across. They scuttle up. A lot of damage. Does eventually get down the Weaver. And oh, Shaker on the side. Picks off the Windy. The vision provided from the Breaker. And they get another one. Another one. Without the without the Wyvern, they can't do much. What's this, what's this guy doing? Shadow Fiend. What is he doing? Nothing. Not much. Chilling. Link. Yules. Going for the eggs. Yeah. He's doing that. That old strat, eh? That old strat. That old chestnut. And Tony going for the can. I mean, maybe actually really good versus the old Wyvern. I was trying to heal. We can point target the tree, do some magic burst. At the end. Oh, SF uh, actually gets a kill. Oh, that's a good time charge. Getting two out. Uh, wanting just one, but getting a second. Oracle ult might be enough. Um, Yules himself. Yules himself to stay in a little bit too long, but somehow still gets out. And there's the curse. Just with some creeps, but enough to click down a bit. A little bit of lockdown. Yeah, why am I feeling strong, man? <laughs> why am I feeling strong as a hero? Kinda nuts. Kinda nuts. Just easy lockdown, easy damage.
Okay, tiny boy. What are you going for? You think about doing anything here? Yes. A lot of pinging happening here. Like they got Viz, so they kind of want to do something. They maybe want to do something. Although, up here, some dewarding happening. Interesting places to be on the map. Oh, farm is farm. Chuck does have Battle Fury. And then go for the old silver. This is some real scrubby, like, carry shit right here. I've got my face boots. I've got my Battle Fury. Now I'm going Shadow. It's actually going Maelstrom in the Shadow Blade. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. How many farming items does one juggernaut need? All of them, he says. All of them, please. Thank you. Yes, all of them. We're we just reaching a lull. Is is this oh some lines have been dropped. Oh, okay, look, we got we got a play coming in. No smoke, but gank coming in. A scan comes out, sees them coming, they're not smoked. Yules defensively from SF. And a very early Oracle ult, but why haven't seen with the curse? Wall up and down, crank up, SF ult. A little early, but gets the fear in time nonetheless. And help him up and coming in with a slam, but... Everyone's already dead, and now the chop from the Omni. Yeah, lad, you're not going to get anyone here. You're just going to have to run. All the while, Tiny gets the 1v1 versus the Wyvern and wins it. So, pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. I mean, okay, so the Requiem fell early, but everyone was feared. Does it still do the damage even... It didn't feel like it did the damage. I feel like it was too early to do the damage. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's still here. Or did it hit while well, they were cursed? They had the fear debuff. So the damage didn't hit, but then the fear hit them because it lasted. We'll never know. Oh, I can never go back. And <laughs> I could never rewind a replay. Criminal. You let me know. You could. You can go back. You go back and let, and let me know what I missed. <laughs> if you want. Oh, there we go. Easy curse. Okay. That, okay. That, that's, that's filthy, Wyvern. That is. It's a lot of damage. Probably could have clicked a bit more. Wendy did get picked off during that. So one for one overall. Eh. Oh, now Tiny maybe going for more. Yep, gets one. And going for another Oracle dead. Get chopped down. <laughs> Wyvern's a little far up. Healing to stall out a little bit. Uh, but actually, down. A dodgy go from Dyer into everyone kind of being a little bit split apart. Good fight for Radium. All right. All right. Lincoln's coming out for Windy. Why? For the charge? Is she getting charged all the time? That what she's scared about? Maybe? With a tiny? I don't know. I do not know. Have we reached a stage of the game where Dai just wants to go all all mid all the time? Is that the point of the game we're at? Yeah, everyone's mid all the time. Weave with the D Warden. Oh, mid. Yep, mid. Nice Fisher. Stopping the ult, but uh, SB still dead. Oh, the slam. It got cancelled. The blink got cancelled, and there's just a turnaround. Oh, no. There was an attempt here to do something, but uh, not happening. No, I what? Cancelled that blink. That's so unfortunate. Must have been like a Maelstrom proc or something. That is so sad. Now the root coming in. Weaver a boy. Making space though. Making space. They don't have detection. Oh, Windy does. But they're not going to find him. Jeez. And 
They get the tier two town they don't die. But they're gonna pay for it. They're not gonna pay for it. They're gonna pay for it. They're gonna pay for it with one undying. And potentially a wyvern as well if they got the lockdown. The curse comes out. Stalling. Allowing them to freely run away on wyvern, but um oh. Maybe not. 100% free. Oh, has fly again. Uh, woo, but they're so mobile. The axe completed on the shaker. We got the bugs. We got the vision. But SF coming in. Cranking up the ult. Gets one down. And Wyvern gets enough distance to click down a second. And a third. A little bit of an overchaser now. Tiny wants something but can't quite burst down SF. Now in trouble as Windy wind running at this lad. With the Glyph trying to get the lockdown. A root coming in from Oracle. Keeping him locked down a little bit longer. But is this the auto bait of a century? Everyone is respawning. They're using a lot. They're running low on resources out of mana. Getting close to the tier three shaker. Throwing out the Fisher. Then to back off a little bit. We've got a blink slam coming in any second. There we go. Wallop it down with the curse. Gets them back the charge through from the breaker. Can they get anyone down? They can't. They're just dropping numbers. Help them off and trying to get away. Get it up the hill. Trying to get the jump. Does. But they've paid for it with three and maybe a four with the chop coming out. Whoop! Gets one down at least, but raised to the ground by the SF. It's one buyback from Radiant on the teeny tiny. Just to try and make sure they don't go. And here we go. We get one return kill worth from the buyback. And hopefully going for a second. But the tomb trying to stall them out. Not going to be enough. We've got a jump and shaker now. Not going to have that blink cancelled by any little cretins on the map. Thank you very much. Oh lord, that was that was pretty bad. I really, th I really thought it was just gonna be an overchase from Dyer into an auto bait. You know, we nearly got the tiny down. We nearly got the tiny down into just feeding one by one, but they actually got a lot. They actually got a lot for it, and now oh, tiny fellow. Oh, SF doesn't get the ult down in time. Gonna have to commit the curse just to deal with his tiny. And Scuttlebug does get dusted, but uh, he's quick. He's slippery. Although SF catches him with the Yules. He's still quick. Going for the out. Gets Glyphon it up. Focus fire. Stunned as well. He dead. He dead. Silly plays coming out. Silly little plays from Radiant. What are they doing? What are they playing at? And now SB, my boy, you should not have been here. Your team's dead. Just, just don't, just don't go towards the tier two. High ground is where you are strong. All right, let, let's pray for a slam. Let's play for a beautiful slam. Stall out this game. We've got a Fisher to stall it. Oh, but no, the folks fire coming in. Jump away, Apple and it's not gonna be enough. Oh, but the ax from the Weaver saves him a little bit. And they're getting one down on the back lines. Get the Oracle to slam. It's not quite massive. It's not massive enough. And it's only one buyback. Okay. We're just going to fish it from a distance. We're going to let the lane go. And the SF with the Blink Yules go for a Shivas now. It's a strap. It's a strap. Whether it's the strap. He's top net worth. He's... <laughs> He's doing something. He's doing, he's 14 and five. He's actually kind of doing work. Tombstone dropping, it's a bit of a ballsy go, but they can't burst down this Wyvern in time. And the SF with the ulti gets them dead. Uh, this, this is a disaster. That was a sloppy go, miscommunication. Oh, tiny though, can he get it? He does, he does just about get the Wyvern down. It might be enough to hold. Although Windy's on DD, he uses the BKB. Chop coming out. Now Jug's a little deep in. And do they have the burst? Yeah, Windy down. DD. AD. 
not enough damage. And with the Wyvern down, they should be a little bit careful, to be honest. No SF ulti. He's all about that ult with this build. They burst one on dying down. Yule stalling out. Click. Clock. Another one down. And last lad, the Oracle, dead. Great, <laughs> crazy. This game is crazy. This game is nuts. I mean, if yeah, if they get down the Wyvern, it's happy days. And if Dyer are fighting without their their curse or their their Requiem, it's fine. That felt like a that felt like a waste, Wyvern. That felt like a little bit of a waste. I think Wyvern, you may have just lost the game right here. You may have just lost the game. If you die back now, Wyvern, it's over. If you die back, Wyvern, it's over. Okay, we've got a shackle. We get one. Okay, okay. Let's do they're holding. They're holding the tier twos. Life, they're coming in. Shackle, not connecting to anything. They're running out of there, and it's a straight plow down the mid lane. Do we need Roche? No. Do we need to play for five? No. There are two down. The slam is down, and Weaver scuttling through. Yeah, he's Glyphnid. Gets the ult off, but it's not enough. Oh, Snix gets one down, but it's just the Oracle. He gets shackled to a tree. What on earth? Turns out, running down mid is the play. And always will be the play. Run straight down mid. It's never gone badly. It's never gone badly. Yeah, ping the SF. Come on, SF. We're, we're finishing the game. They don't have buybacks. Why would they have buybacks? Why would they have buybacks? Criminal. Oh, they're going in. Oh. Chop going out. SF with the ulti, but... Magic Moon on the jug. And now the chop... With the Yules, not going to do much. The curse stalling out. One little lad on the high ground. Uh, but do they want to keep going? Got some little bit of tree tossage coming from Tiny on the side. Oracle Alt saving the SF, and they just got enough lockdown for Weaver for a while. But he gets the time lock. Slam coming in. Helpful mother. Can he get the kill though? Can he get the kill? No, not quite. They're out. Uh, and the helpful muffin might might be in. No, he's out. He's out. They're all fine. Surprised they didn't just go on in there. There's two. There's two alive. There's two alive, and they're leaving. I mean, they're a little bit low. They're a little bit. Low. I guess they're a little bit low. They don't have the ults. They don't have the curse. Curse and ten. That's fine. Wait for five. Gonna be respectful. Gonna go top. Gonna get a slain racks, and then they're gonna end the game. Does this guy actually use his shivers yet? Have I missed it? <laughs> Strength blink SF. Yeah, no, this is cool. This is very cool. I like it. Oh, they just they just killed their Oracle. They just killed their Oracle of the Tormentor. And now they're going for a lot. Okay. In the tomb, undying. He's bunkered down. SF blinking in. Shiva's all wrecking havoc. Killing lads left and right. Wyvern just on the back lines. Golzen up an icy storm. And yeah, we got a glyph near. Uh, it's, a, it's a flying corpse. It's over. It's over. I like this SF build. This is funny. This is great. I mean, the Wyvern, I feel, solo carried this game. The SF build, very funny. Very funny indeed. Tiny went 25 and 6. It didn't feel like he went 25 and 6. Interesting. It really didn't feel like he did that much. I, I felt like he died a lot more question mark. Grow up, Wyvern. Grow up. Uh, well, that was a fun one. A helpful muffin, I think, submitted that one. So thank you for the replay. That was a that was a fun, fun game. Nice to see an SF with a weird build. Nice to see a, a Wyvern do something different. Some fun fights. If you got a weird game, send it my way. I'll have a look. I'll have a little I'll have a little peep. Alright, I'll catch you next time. Bye, bye, bye.